course creation uh, methodologies, if I talk about, it talks about, you know, following the uh, given step, understand how to create course, how to create a content. To define uh, course goals, what are the goals I want to achieve? What are the things I'm focusing on in a particular course? All right, so this is what the course goal is. Then determine on the course content, right? What are the elements you want to include in the particular content, right? What are the things, what are the pieces you want to include? What are topics, subtopics you want to go? And then focus on developing the teaching methods and tools, right? What are the methods you're gonna incorporate? What are the methods, teaching methods, tools? And then determine how to evaluate students. Now, again, that particular evaluation point came in. Then select the, you know, training material or the other materials, determining on the course policy. So course policy, basically, I mean that setting on the dates, time, when the course will be updated, when the numbers would be updated, because this keeps on changing. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, develop your course schedule. So schedule I'm talking about is on what intervals and frequencies you're going to plan the training, right? What the number of participants is, what are the timeline you have taken into writing the course syllabus, right? And then refine the course design. So designing and development all comes in a certain model that I will cover in the next slides. So this is what the course creation methodology is. However, this is not fixed. You can shuffle it. You can see the things which are relevant and accordingly you can go ahead. Now, if I talk about certain principles and rules of economics that are coming from very, you know, back, back time. So that cannot be refined in the next future. So same things like that. Right. So, for example, if I talk about the rule of demand and supply in economics, so that is that was all going to remain the same. Right. If I talk like anything. Now, if I talk about mathematical equations. Pythagoras theorem cannot be changed. So this is what it is. So from this particular context. Obviously, it has to be a smart goal, specific, measurable, achievable, uh, reliable, and time bound. So now the question is how to determine the course content, right? Select the main topics first, pare down and refine your initial list of topics, right? First of all, you should make a note of it. Then determine the structure of the course, right? What, uh, what, how much you want to have this uh, theory, theory part, what, how much you're going to have this practical part and arrange the topics in a logical order, order, right? Which is very important. Then how to make sure that the content is right, right? Because you cannot make or design anything in isolation. So it's all about team effort. It's all about group activity. And this is how you go. So making sure the content is right, so can I organize the topics according to a theme or a storyline, right? Do I need to teach certain skills initially and then discuss application or first application or then theory that you need to, uh, you know, think, answer, answer yourself. And there can be other certain ways as well to make sure that the content is right. You can take the data from the past trainings if happened from the same topic. You can just see the data from the participants feedback forms that uh, how they have responded to training, things like that. So this is how we can, you know, make sure that the content is right and correct. Now then coming on to the teaching tools, right? So teaching tools, if I talk about what should be the appropriate size of the class, consistent with the course goals, what, whatever I have in mind, now also think about the way you want to present your content, right? So whether we want to make it fun or interesting, whether you want to just give the download and come back, if, 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 if it is any changes. Now, if there is a change in law, so you cannot make any fun in the training program. You have to just deliver it that then and there, right? If there is the changes in the office timings, if there is a change in any, any particular change in the process, so you have to make it then and there, like then and there only you could just give the download. 
So that you need to decide as an instructional designer that how you want the trainer to go ahead and do this. Then comes the point is how to choose your tools and methods, right? What is your teaching style, right? Which type of teaching method will fulfill your course goals, activities, modules, things like that. How technology is gonna help you? Do we also require some LMS where you can enroll the people in the self-paced course, right? We're using variety of approaches in teaching, right? And planning to use teaching method that will require to measure active student learning. So we discussed about the assessment, formative assessments, summative assessments, right? So this is how to choose the tools and methods, then uh, how to plan the evaluation, right? So evaluation before this, we discussed certain models of evaluation. So completely depends, completely is your choice that whether you want to go with the Anderson's model, whether you want to go with the Kirkpatrick model, completely like what your organization is, you know, feel like, right? So if you're taking the assignments, so you can check whether it is able to help you to achieve the course goals or how much time you will give the students to complete the papers or complete the assignments and do exams and quiz also, you know, reflecting on the course goals or not, were they able to achieve and did they measure the extent, extent to which students are achieving. So this is what it is. This is how you can, you know, plan the evaluation. These are just basic, uh, you know, terminologies and theories that we use, right? Thank you.